what's the impact of cable cable charging component on the power system network let's explain in brief so here is the power system network which i have drawn this is a grid so power is coming from grid here is the main 132 kb grid bus from 132 kb there are two step down transformers this is 132 kb by 33 kb transformer the secondary side 34.5 kb <coughs> so this is stepping the voltage is stepping down to 33 kb and for the outgoing feeders i have disconnected i have opened the breakers so my system is active from grid up to this 33 kb voltage level in this network what do we have we have the grid source one one number 132 kb bus two numbers 16 mba transformers and one 33 kb switch gear consists of bus a and bus b so these are the only components and i have added some breakers also which is uh, not to be considered here okay so just run the load flow for once let's see what is the power flow here 0 kilowatt 0 kilobar here also 0 kilowatt 0 kilobar that means no power is flowing no active or reactive power is flowing because because there is no load connected with the outgoing outgoing feeders there is no load requirement so this is coming 0 kilowatt and 0 kilowatt 0 kvr okay so now let's play a little bit let's go to the edit mode and here let's add a cable here here for the transformer in current suppose single run 3 core 120 square mm what is the length considered here let's check 150 meter so preliminary let it be there 150 meter and here is the impedance resistance cable resistance value or reactance value and also the capacitance in turn you cannot put directly the cable capacitance here you need to you can change the cable admittance and it will calculate the capacitance automatically you cannot change here but you can change here you can change this value no issue then this capacitance will be changed okay for this second in camera also let's assign the cable here and now let's run the load flow again to check what is the status of active and reactive power okay that's fine 0 kilowatt but instead of 0 kvar now it is coming minus 673.3 kvar and here it is 336.6 kvar and this arrow is downward that means it is contributing it is injecting the reactive var towards this 132 kb system and here also in turn it is injecting towards the grid because of what because of this cable effect because of this cable charging component we all know the cable acts as the capacitor 
so due to the charging current component ic ic value it is injecting or pushing the reactive wall towards grid so this is what now 336.6 gave her it is injecting now let's do one more thing let's change the cable length here once again this cable length suppose instead of 150 meter let's say 1.5 kilometer 1500 meter okay now let's run keeping the second cable as it is now let's run the load flow once again here you can see this is changed previously it was 336.6 as it was for this cable 336.6 kvr but in this case you can see because of changing the cable length this reactive power is too much 3366 3, 3, 6 kvr so because of changing the cable charging current this reactive reactive var component is getting changed let's say this cable length is only 20 meter let's run this yeah this is drastically reduced here it is 44.9 why this is 44.9 towards 132 kb grid and here it is 336.6 so total is coming 381.5 kbr so both the cables are contributing 381.5 kvr towards grid so this is the effect of cable capacity cable capacitance or cable charging current in the power system network so individually if you can understand the individual effect of any component on the power system network during the power system analysis it will be easier to understand why why this is getting changed and also if you display the unit here suppose in power factor you want to see the power factor here power factor is zero power factor is zero but there is some power which is kva afferent power because of this reactive power because of this reactive reactive component so up to this i will start a relay setting and uh, protection videos very shortly so keep in touch